Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I'm super excited about the 2023 code changes. Today we're going to be talking about islands and peninsulas. Now this has been a moving target for the last three or four code cycles and they, it seems to just keep getting worse and worse. But I think finally they've cleaned it up, but of course we've been left with a little bit of a problem. We find ourselves in 250.52 C2 and C3. And C2 says that if there is in a receptacle that is to be installed, it shall be installed according to C3. So just to give you the short version, in the 2023, they have made island and peninsula receptacles optional. So you do not have to do it, but there's a catch there, and we'll talk about it in just a moment. If you do do it, you're going to have to be using part three, and you're gonna, there's three parts to it. You can do one or, you know, one, two, or three. So if you do decide to do a receptacle, number one, you can have it on or above the island or percent, uh, peninsula workspace. You can have a countertop receptacle outlet that is listed for use in countertops, or you can have a work surface receptacle outlet that's listed for work surface receptacles. So just to recap, you are not required to have an island or peninsula receptacle at all in the 2023 code book. If you do, it must be on, in, or above. You are no longer allowed to put receptacles around the base of an island or peninsula. This is a huge change. So just to recap, you are not allowed to put it around the base anymore, not below it at all. It has to be on or above the countertop. And where this spurred from is kids would walk up to islands and pull down crock pots and pull down, you know, um, you know, kitchen aids and cooking things, they would pull appliances down on them. So they've made it now. If you do install that receptacle, it has to be in or above. So you have to do a drop down, listed for it, pop up type receptacle or something alike. So the one thing that they left us with that I'm pretty confused about, and I hope they take it out in the 26, it says here in part two that if a receptacle is not provided, then provision shall be made for a future receptacle. Now, what does that mean? Do I have to bring a junction box to the crawl space? Do I have to bring a junction box up in the island and hide it somewhere? So it's saying, hey, you don't have to put a receptacle, but you do have to put provisions for a future receptacle. So that's going to open up a whole new ball of worms. I'll let you guys drop down in the comments below what you think. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I just want to let you guys know that you can do it. I'm praying for you every day. I want to see you guys win. If there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.